Is the beast of Exmoor an elusive creature, roaming the moors of Exmoor, or perhaps just roaming our imaginations? This large, wild cryptozoological felid has become infamous in the southwest, spotted across the fields and moors of Exmoor and Somerset and Devon. Although cited on numerous occasions since the 1970s, definitive proof of the existence of the beast remains elusive. Witness report a large feline creature typically resembling a panther or puma, dark gray, tan to black. The beast is large, most reports suggesting lynx nose to tail of somewhere in the region of 1 to 2 meters. During the early 1980s, repeated large losses of sheep and lambs increased the notoriety of the beast of Exmoor. In one such example, a South Molton farmer lost over 100 sheep in the space of three months, with injuries suggestive of large cat involvement. A Devon farmer found a puma skull in 2006, confirmed by the British Big Cat Society. However, the official statement by the DEFRA outlined, based on the evidence, DEFRA does not believe that there are big cats living in the wild in England. Possible Explanations Some decades ago, the possession of exotic species in the UK became popular and was initially largely unregulated. During the 1960s, a law was passed making it illegal to keep large cats in captivity as an individual. This has led to theories of the release of a cougar or black leopard into the wild at about this time. However, the typical 14-year lifespan of these species make it unlikely that a single animal would have accounted for all sightings. The skeptical might well assume that sightings are much more likely to be misidentified domestic cats, dogs, or deer. Certainly livestock deaths could be attributed to wandering dogs. Theories of a hybrid species have been discussed. The hybridization of a leopard and puma was achieved in captivity by Carl Hagenbeck. Perhaps some new felid of Exmoor is in existence. The male of any cat hybrid is typically sterile, so the ongoing perpetuation of the species could be tricky. I enjoy doing such videos as the top 5 creepiest cryptids, where I present 4 encounters as well as if I think said cryptid could be real. And cryptid short docs, however, there is another type of video that I also enjoy making and actually founded this channel with. Which is my A Creepy History series, which I am now going to continue with a 3 video series of investigations into real life haunted places. Be sure to tune in and enjoy.